All right, let's grab our passports uh, because today we're doing a deep dive into this Love Ireland travel newsletter. Yeah. Um, and they promise to unlock all the secrets of the Emerald Isle in here. Mm -hmm. There's practical tips and cultural insights. And it's all written in a really fun way. Right. Like, it makes you want to book a flight right away. Yeah. Um, it even has a premium version. Oh, cool. With what they call travel deep dives. But uh, for now, let's just see what we can find together. Well, one thing that's really cool is that it, it seems to go beyond just the usual tourist traps. Yeah. It's like they're sharing their favorite local spots and hidden gems. Like, okay. right off the bat, they highlight County Wicklow, okay. which is south of Dublin, and it's known as the Garden of Ireland. So, Garden of Ireland. Mm -hmm. So, I'm picturing, like, right. manicured lawns and, you know, perfectly pruned rose bushes. Mm -hmm. Is there more to it than that? Oh, so much more. I think rolling hills and valleys, dramatic coastlines. Wow. Uh, we're talking about places like Glendalock, okay. which is this ancient monastic site. That's in a glacial valley. Wow. The newsletter mentions it, but uh, you might be even more intrigued by this lesser known monastic site. Okay. Further up the valley, it's called St. Kevin's Cell. All right. And it's perched on this cliff edge overlooking the lake. Wow. It's a truly breathtaking spot. Okay. So you've convinced me about Wicklow, but. Yeah. What about this mysterious sculpture park mentioned in here? Yeah. It's described as a privately owned meditation garden, so tell me more. It definitely kicked my interest, too. Imagine, like, these captivating black granite sculptures. Okay. Just scattered around these serene lakes and these enchanting forests. Really? Yeah, it's designed for introspection and self-reflection. Okay. So not your typical park. I'm intrigued, but I also wonder if it's a little too new age for me. Right. Is it worth a visit for someone who's, you know more grounded in reality. Well, that's the beauty of travel, right? Yeah. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. Even if meditation isn't your thing, the combination of like art and nature yeah. in such a unique setting could be pretty powerful. True. And who knows, maybe you'll discover a newfound sense of inner peace. All right. All right. You've convinced me, Sculpture Park. Here I come. Now let's move on to a place that definitely screams postcard worthy. Okay. Kylemore Abbey. It's described as a place with rich history and beauty. Yeah. And you know me, I'm a sucker for a good historical tale. Well, get ready to be swept off your feet. <laughs> Kylemore Abbey has a fascinating history. Okay. Picture this, a gothic castle rising from a mist-shrouded lake, wow. nestled in the Irish countryside. Beautiful. It was built in the late 19th century. Wow. By Mitchell Henry for his wife, Margaret. Oh, wow. Talk about a grand gesture of love. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. So from a love nest to a girls boarding school and now a popular tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. That's quite the resume. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it's architectural beauty played a part in all of that. Absolutely. The neo-Gothic architecture is stunning and the setting yeah. is just breathtaking. Yeah. It's easy to see why it continues to capture people's imaginations. Right. Okay, so we've explored the serene landscapes of Wicklow. Yes. The grandeur of Kylemore Abbey. Yeah. Now let's head to a city that's buzzing with energy. Cork. Right. The newsletter says that experiencing an Irish pub is a must-do. Oh, cool. But with so many choices in Cork, yeah. it could be pretty overwhelming. Yeah, I can relate to that feeling of option overload. Yeah. Where do you even begin? <laughs> well, they suggest venturing off the main tourist streets and ducking into those little side streets. Okay. And you'll find pubs bustling with locals. That's great advice. Yeah. I always feel like you get a more authentic experience when yeah. you immerse yourself in the local scene. You're spot on. Speaking of local scenes, uh, the newsletter also mentioned something for the music fans. Okay. Richard Ashcroft is going to be a special guest. Oh, wow. For Oasis's 2025 Ireland shows. Ooh, now that's a concert I wouldn't want to miss, but yeah. for those of us who might need a little musical refresher, yeah. who are these guys again? I think 90s Britpop at its finest. <laughs> Oasis was known for their anthemic hits and their rock and roll swagger, uh -huh. while Richard Ashcroft fronted the Verve, okay. a band known for its dreamy, psychedelic sound. So two iconic British bands coming together on Irish soil. Mm -hmm. Sounds legendary. Absolutely. And it looks like the rest of the supporting lineup is still under wraps. Yeah. So there's even more to look forward to. Absolutely. Now, after all that exploring and rocking out, yeah. I'm guessing you've worked up an appetite. You know me too well. Ah. And thankfully, the Love Ireland newsletter has us covered. All right. Um, I saw a recipe that immediately made my mouth water. Okay. Steak and Guinness pie. Ah, uh, a true Irish classic. 
<laughs> this pie has been warming belly since the 1800s. Oh, wow. It's everything you want in comfort food. Yeah. Tender beef, mushrooms, and onions simmered in a rich Guinness and beef stock sauce. Wow. All encased in a flaky pastry crust. Oh, man. The newsletter mentions using beef stock, but back in the day, yeah. it was more common to just use a simple water-based gravy. Wow. I love those little historical tidbits. It's fascinating to see how recipes evolve over time. Right. I have to admit, the thought of digging into a hearty steak and Guinness pie after a long day yeah. Exploring the Irish countryside sounds absolutely divine. It's the perfect way to warm up on a chilly evening. Yeah. And savor the flavors of Ireland. Definitely. And speaking of savoring flavors, did you see the recommendation about packing a power adapter? Oh, yeah. Specifically a UK, Ireland, Scotland adapter? Oh, that's a good one. It's one of those little details that can make or break a trip. Right. Nothing ruins a vacation faster than, like, not being able to charge your phone or use your hair dryer. Exactly. It's like the saying goes, the devil is in the details. Yes. Or in this case, the success of your trip could depend on those little preparations. Right. But what I really appreciate about this newsletter yeah. is that it's not all about the practicalities, you know? Mm -hmm. It captures the spirit of Ireland beautifully. Yes. Did you see the line about the Ring of Kerry? The one that said, to visit Ireland and not explore the Ring of Kerry is like visiting Ireland and not trying a pint of Guinness. Yeah. It's just not right. Yeah. Yeah, that one stuck with me too. So true. The Ring of Kerry is one of those iconic Irish experiences that you just can't miss. Right. So the Ring of Kerry is a must do. Got it. But before we head there, there's something else I wanted to ask about. Okay. The newsletter mentioned the Craic section. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing that's all about the fun, lively side of Irish culture. Ah, Craic. It's hard to translate. It's that feeling of warmth fun and connection, Gunner. getting a good Irish pub, yeah. or really anywhere people are gathered together just enjoying themselves. Right. It's an essential part of the Irish spirit. Okay. And it sounds like the newsletter is giving us a taste of that crack with a piece called Growing Up Irish. Mm. I'm really curious to see what kind of stories and insights it offers. Me too. It's often those personal stories that provide the most authentic glimpses into a place and its people. Speaking of personal stories, did you see the part about the digital archive of Ireland's 1926 census? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Imagine all those historical records. Yeah. Just waiting to be explored online. Right. What a treasure trove. Yeah. For anyone interested in genealogy or family history, mm -hmm. I can almost picture those family trees. Right branching out across mm -hmm. generations. It really does make history come alive, doesn't it? Yeah. To be able to trace your ancestors' footsteps back to a specific time and place, mm. it's incredible. It's like unlocking a whole new chapter in your own personal story. Yeah. It's like piecing together a puzzle, right. one historical record at a time. Mm -hmm. But speaking of hidden treasures, the newsletter also mentioned County Offaly. Yeah. As a so, place that often gets overlooked. Okay. What can you tell me about it? County Offaly, think of it as the heart of Ireland, oh. a place where you can escape the hustle and bustle yeah. and truly connect with the essence of the country. Okay, I'm intrigued. Give me the highlights. Well, for starters, there's Clon Macnoise, oh, okay. an ancient monastic site dating back to the 6th century. Wow. It's perched on the banks of the River Shannon, okay. a place steeped in history and spirituality. Oh. Then you have the Sleeve Blue Mountains, okay. a hiker's paradise with breathtaking views. So Offaly is a mix of ancient history and stunning natural beauty. Right. What about the towns and villages? Yeah, yeah, What yeah. kind of vibe can I expect there? Think traditional Irish hospitality at its finest. Oh, yeah. You'll find cozy pubs with welcoming locals, mm -hmm. charming shops filled with handcrafted goods, oh, and a pace of life that encourages you to slow down mm -hmm. and savor the simple pleasures. It sounds like the perfect antidote to our modern always-on world. Yeah. Just what I need. You know, it's amazing how this Love Ireland newsletter right. has managed to pack so much information and inspiration yeah. into just a few pages. It's clear that the creators have a deep passion for their country, mm -hmm. and they found a truly engaging way to share that passion with others. Yeah. It's not just about telling you where to go. It's oh, about yeah. helping you experience Ireland on a deeper level. Exactly. It's like they've anticipated all my questions and curiosities, oh, right. providing those little nuggets of information that make all the difference. Yeah. It's like having a local friend whispering in your ear, mm -hmm. guiding you to the best kept secrets. But speaking of secrets, did you see the section on experiences 
that are likely to sell out in 2024. Yeah. It sounds like Ireland is going to be a popular destination next year. It certainly seems that way. And with good reason. Yeah. Ireland has something for everyone. History buffs. Right. Nature lovers. Mm -hmm. Adventure seekers. Foodies. Music fans. You name it. Yeah. So if you're thinking about planning a trip, booking those tours and accommodations in advance yeah. is definitely a wise move, especially if you're eyeing right. some of those exclusive experiences mentioned in the newsletter. Good advice. I'm already feeling that travel bug starting to bite. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I wanted to mention. Remember that Craig section we talked about earlier? Yeah. Well, it also features an article called What's the Story? What's the story? Yeah. That's a classic Irish greeting, isn't it? Right. It's basically their way of saying, yeah. tell me everything. Mm -hmm. And from the looks of it, this article delves into the art of storytelling in Irish culture. That sounds fascinating. The Irish are renowned for their storytelling abilities. Right. It's such an integral part of their heritage. Yeah. I can't wait to dive into that and see what gems we can uncover. Me too. It's like they're giving us a key to unlock a deeper understanding of the Irish soul. Yeah. You know, when you think about it, storytelling is a form of time travel. Mm -hmm. It allows us to connect with the past. Right. To share experiences and to create a sense of community. Absolutely. And in a country like Ireland, mm -hmm. where history and tradition are so deeply intertwined, mm -hmm. I can only imagine how powerful the stories must be. It gives me chills just thinking about it. And it makes me even more excited to experience Ireland for myself, to hear those stories firsthand mm -hmm. and to feel that connection to something ancient and timeless. Mm -hmm. But before we get carried away with our wanderlust, right. there's one more thing the newsletter highlighted that I wanted to make. Sure. Yeah. The Love Ireland team has partnered with a company Oh wow! that creates custom itineraries. How cool is that? That's fantastic. Talk about taking all the stress out of planning a trip. Right. They take care of all the details. Yeah. So you can simply relax and enjoy the journey. It sounds like the perfect solution for anyone who's feeling overwhelmed by the planning process mm -hmm. or who wants to make sure they're getting the most out of their time in Ireland. It definitely takes the guesswork out of it. And knowing the team behind Love Ireland, yeah, I'm sure these itineraries are going to be packed with hidden gems. Mm -hmm. And unique experiences. Speaking of unique experiences, did you see the part about the seaweed baths? Seaweed baths. Mm -hmm. Now, that's something I've never heard of before. They're actually a traditional Irish therapy dating back centuries. Oh, wow. Imagine soaking in a warm bath infused with fresh seaweed. Okay. Known for its therapeutic properties. Okay, that's sounds both intriguing and a little bit strange. Yeah. What are the supposed benefits? Well, seaweed is packed with vitamins and minerals. Okay. And it's said to detoxify the body soothe sore muscles yeah and even improve skin conditions so it's like a spa treatment for the sea exactly it's a chance to reconnect with nature yeah and pamper yourself at the same time you know it's amazing how this newsletter keeps surprising me with these little glimpses into irish culture and tradition yeah it's like peeling back layers of history mm -hmm. and discovering something new and fascinating at every turn yeah, it really does feel like we've only scratched the surface here of what yeah. Ireland has to offer. Yeah. And yet this newsletter has given us such a rich taste of the country mm -hmm. from, you know, the ancient history and breathtaking landscapes to its vibrant culture. Yeah. And of course, the delicious food. And let's not forget that steak and Guinness pie recipe. Oh, yeah. It keeps coming up in here. It's like yeah. they're really hinting that it's a must try. Yeah. Um, you know, they... Describe it as this beloved dish in Ireland okay. and across the British Isles. And it's, you know, tender beef mushrooms and onions and that rich Guinness and beef stock sauce. Oh, I'm definitely adding that to my culinary to-do list. Yeah. It sounds like the perfect embodiment of Irish comfort food. Yeah. Hearty, flavorful, and steeped in tradition. And speaking of tradition. Right. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on something the newsletter touched upon. Okay. The importance of preserving the Irish language. Yeah, it's a topic close to the heart of many Irish people. Mm -hmm. You know, the Irish language, also known as Gaelic, has faced a lot of challenges yeah. over the centuries, but uh, there's a growing movement to revitalize it. Right. And the newsletter highlights some of the ways that people are working to keep this ancient language alive. Okay. Like language immersion schools, well, traditional music festivals. It's inspiring to see people so passionate about preserving their heritage. Yeah. It speaks to the deep connection the Irish have to their history and their culture. Mm-hmm. 
And it makes me think about the role language plays in shaping our identity and sense of belonging. Right. It's more than just words. It's a way of connecting with our ancestors and understanding who we are. Beautifully said. And I think that's what this Love Ireland newsletter does so well. Yeah. It helps us connect with the heart and soul of Ireland, mm -hmm. not just as a tourist destination, but as a living, breathing culture right. with you know a rich tapestry of stories to tell. Couldn't have put it better myself. So what does this all mean for you, dear listener? If you're even remotely considering a trip to Ireland, yeah. or even if you just want to daydream about it, yeah. I highly recommend checking out this newsletter. It's like having a personal tour guide. Yeah. Who knows all the best spots from the iconic landmarks to the hidden gems right. that most tourists, you know, never discover. Yeah. And it's delivered with such warmth and enthusiasm that you can't help but get swept up in the excitement. It's definitely more than just a travel guide. Right. It's an invitation to experience Ireland on a deeper level mm -hmm. to connect with his people. Yeah. It's history. It's spirit. And you know what? I think it's done a brilliant job of achieving that. I wholeheartedly agree. It's left me feeling inspired and informed and frankly quite eager to book that flight yes and i think it's safe to say that we've both learned a thing or two along the way absolutely so to wrap things up if you're looking for an adventure that will feed your soul as much as it delights your senses then ireland might just be calling your name yeah and the love ireland newsletter is the perfect companion to guide you on that journey and even if you're not planning a trip anytime soon, simply exploring this newsletter can be a delightful way to learn more about this fascinating country and its people. Yeah, It's a virtual escape, you know, wow. that can transport you to the Emerald Isle from the comfort of your own home. And on that note, we'll leave you with this final thought. Imagine yourself standing on the cliffs of Moher, the wind whipping through your hair, the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean stretching out before you. Wow. The feeling of history beneath your feet that's the magic of Ireland. A place that stays with you long after you've left its shores. <laughs> yeah. And perhaps someday you'll experience that magic for yourself. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep diving deep into the world around you. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive.